I've travelled a few miles north of Stornoway to the village of Gress and in this idyllic place I'm going to meet one of the island's most exciting young artists, Danielle McLeod. I'm Danielle McLeod. I'm an artist from the Hebrides and I studied in Glasgow School of Art for four years and graduated in 2020. And now I'm back in the Hebrides and I've just finished making my um, first body of work out with art school, which is called Guardians. In my final year got cut short due to the pandemic um, and I didn't have a final body of work. Um, so when I started making new work in the Hebrides, uh, I was actually quite surprised at how much easier it was to make work here. Um, I found myself to be really kind of energised by the landscape and really inspired. Guardians kind of is a response essentially to uh, a spiritual transformation that I went through during my second year of uni where I went from being a committed Christian person to someone who decided that that wasn't what they believed in anymore and I no longer wanted to interpret my faith or spirituality in that way. Um, and for anyone that's kind of been on that journey of walking away from a faith, you have to rebuild what you've just lost because your, your worldview is built on that. I decided that I'd make a body of work um, where each mask that I made represented uh, a belief or a value that I thought was important or something that I was kind of aspiring to be a bit more like. Uh, so the first mask that I made was this plain white mask, um, which is the new guardian. And that one just kind of represented a new beginning, a clean slate. Um, and then the second one that I made was this big woolly structure that was made from a prawn creel and a bag of sheep wool um, and two driftwood sticks popped on the top. Um, and that one was inspired by this book I was reading, which was um, by Clarissa Pinkola Estes. And it was called Women Who Run With Wolves. And it was just all about women kind of embracing creativity and embracing their wildness. Um, so my mask was just a response to things that I thought were important or things I wanted more of. And essentially what happened during this kind of mask construction um, was that it became, the construction of the mask became a, like a meditation for each value. Um, and they all, all the masks kind of represented different things. And then um, after I made one, it would then kind of get brought to life um, through photography. So I'd go to a location, um, I'd pick an outfit for my model, aka a husband, to wear, and um, yeah, and then that kind of mask would become some kind of living creature, um, living entity, and it was just a really wonderful way to to finish the the process. Uh, so my next project is going to be inspired by uh, The Blue Men of the Mitch, which is uh, one of the um, most well-known myths around the kind of Hebrides landscape. Um, so it's essentially these blue mermen who would go up to people's boats and would ask for their, their catch and they would take it unless you kind of out rhymed them with this riddle. So it's really cool to to reimagine and reinterpret um, stories that are quite old, but also majorly inspired at about, about here. Um, and then I get to kind of put a little bit of a, a new flavor onto it. Um, yeah, so I am someone who was born and raised here and has 
gone off to study, come back and chosen to stay. And it's very easy to feel kind of connected to nature um, or connected to your environment. And I find that um, a really important thing to have in my own life. I find that um, I'm, I'm living my most balanced life here. Um, because it is important for me to keep up relationships with my family and friends who I have here. It's really important for me to to get out in into the landscape and that's really important for the art that I make as well. Um, because I don't need to go, go looking for inspiration, it just comes to me. I don't think I would want to live anywhere else right now.